Now, it's been three years since Paloma Faith released her last album, but now she's back with brand new music and a UK yeah, tour. Yeah, we're going to chat to her in a second, but first, let's take a listen to one of the new singles from her album. This is Bad Woman. The walls we build burn, so I spin the wheel and then I call the shots in the end. Walk away from my homestay, say I'm better on my own and stay. Well, you can have the glory while I drive into the sunset. I'm not a go go. I'm a bad woman. And Paloma is here now. I'm liking the feel of that music. Yes, the hair. Making you feel like a bad woman. And, and made me feel like a bad woman. <laughs> I'm always a bad no woman. No encouragement to be a bad woman. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it, because I love her hair. What was the inspiration? Thank is that you. your natural hair? No, my hair is actually that colour naturally, but I've been dyeing it so long I couldn't remember, so oh, I just really? thought I'd try it out. <laughs> but the song is about kind of saying, I'm done with this kind of social pressure on women, teaching us, raising our kids to be good girls and being raised as one, like, always behave, be nice, don't speak out. And it's about me saying, I am done with it. If you want to call me a bad woman, then OK, I'm a bad woman. Go ahead and do but so. But every night before bed, my two-year-old asks me to sing her that song and she's <laughs> gone up, she keeps walking up to strangers saying, I'm a bad woman. <laughs> she's only that big. <laughs> you're like, no, 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 you're not. No, no, it's not like, yet. I want to be empowered. I want to be a bad girl. You're not girl. even a woman yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> So please so, say, say, keep saying please and thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, please and thank you, but still be a bad exactly, woman. Exactly, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I think it's just about kind of saying no to... I reject all these expectations. I do think that feminism's got to this point where it's like... says Everyone keeps telling me, we had feminism, it's brilliant, now we've got equality. It definitely doesn't feel like equality. I think we're doing too much. I think we've got halfway through, we're working, we're holding the home, we're being the, like, first person on the parent WhatsApp group, we're being the, like, we're ordering the school uniform, we're doing the food shop, we're, like, all these things and there's this, like, unseen mental labour that women with and without children are kind of expected, like, oh, always be maternal. Everyone's like, I spoke to you about my feelings and you weren't there for me and it's like... Yeah, OK, but I'm really busy. Like, do you I think that's, really in respect day. of a sex life, do you think that's the, that's just the social... That's, the, that's the, the kind of the pressures of living in the modern age, to a point? I think it's mainly on women. I've, I, I don't think that men... I think it's acceptable behaviour from men and not from women. To I think what? it's an imbalance and unfairness. Um, to be like, no, I don't... I've got too much on to really care about your feelings. She's awful. She's not maternal at all. But, like, if a man goes, I'm really busy at work, sorry, we're like, oh, bless him, he's stressed. <laughs> so true. It's just not fair. So, I this think those, song's those, about... those are like the norms that are put on society. So, it's not like, I, this is what we talk about all the time. Men, are, men aren't encouraged to talk about their feelings. So, therefore, that is the reaction a man will But get. I think that the patriarchy is perpetuated by all genders. I think that we're too hard on each other at times. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, God, she was really cold-hearted. You know she left her husband and kids. Or it's all like, what about the pressure she was under? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's not necessarily just coming from men. You know, I think yeah, yeah. a lot of men want to try. Yeah. But, you know, I've never heard of a career man. I've only ever heard no, of a career sure. woman. For sure. And apparently career men actually exist. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you take these themes and these thoughts, how do you translate? Is this translated into like the whole album or? Yeah, so the album's out February sixteenth. It's called the Glorification. We're all over that. Sadness. Don't you worry. Yeah, hopefully everyone's going to pre-order it. Um, <laughs> And the it, glorification it, of sadness. Sad. Yeah. Wow, that's right. deep, isn't it? Well, I try. I like to think of myself as a bit. <laughs> you deep, are Alison. quite deep. I, I think you are. <laughs> and it's all about. Um, the breakup that I had with my children's dad, which is like a kind of it's a bit different to like songs that I sung when I was younger about just cut and run. You know what it's like. It feels very heavy yeah. that I broke up with my children's dad. I feel a real sense of responsibility. I feel like this stages of grief are just so kind of present and even now two years on I still feel this kind of like overarching sense of guilt that I failed my children or I failed society or what's expected and so the album's sort of chronologically 
um, goes through the stages of grief, whether it's um, a relationship breakup or um, a death or whatever, but it goes through all your feelings. There's moments where I'm like knee jerk and like a, a sort of like petulant child and it's sort of childlike. And then there's moments where it's more introspective and sad. So interesting. And yeah, it really. sort of just depicts it all. And I'm really excited for people to, obviously we started with how you leave a man, then now it's bad woman and it goes on. It sort of, yeah, it documents the whole thing. But it is definitely my biggest failure that I've ever, and it's probably my only Regret, I would uh, say. I'd, I'd never really been someone who regretted anything. When you put putting pen to paper, did sad. you have a word with yourself about, well, how much do I want to... Because if, if you're going to do this, I suppose you've got to be all in, haven't you? If you're going to write an album literally mm. that's so sort of raw and, and you processing, did you hold back at all? Or you thought, like, how much of myself am I going to share on this? I can't really hold back right. as a person. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Um, Firstly, Paloma, it's, it's not a failure. You, this is life. People split up. You know, just the fact that these children, you know, it's the children's dad that you split up with doesn't make you a failure. You might even find that it's your biggest success. You're a single mum. You're a pop star. You're absolutely smashing it and you look like you're from France. I mean, what <laughs> I'm saying? Do you know what I mean, babe? You are smashing life. Don't ever say that it's a thank failure. You. That's your life. That's your journey. That's your story. And that's how it's going. Well, thank you. You're amazing. You're, You're like the beacon the of it all. For some good <laughs> Sorry, therapy. No, no, I mean it. That's failed. really good Listen, advice. That's I, fe nice I felt that failure when I split up with my son's dad. But you know, his dad now moved on. He's married. He's got three other children. They're part of our family as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, you don't no, know do how, really good how it's going to work out. His story. It's, it's part of your story. And, you We've know, we have ups and downs. I'd say it's we? changed shape the relationship, but it's definitely probably going to be the yeah. longest relationship I've ever had because it has to be. And we're really good friends. So, so that's... Tell us about this tour, because this yeah. is... Are you taking the kids with you? What's going to happen? Of course. Happen? Oh, this is going to be I can't so leave my kids behind. So they're coming along. It's about yeah, they always affair. do. Although the older one will be in school, but I've scheduled it so it does go over the Easter holidays. <laughs> so then we can do a bit of tour on the Easter holidays. Right. That's on purpose. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's in April. I'm really excited. It's why I do this job. I love playing live. And you can see your audience as well. 14 sold-out dates already. I'm so excited and there's still some left. Yeah. So, hopefully... Well, we might come, might we? Hopefully you we guys come will along. come. Alone is having the glory. Not in the Easter holiday sad. ones. <laughs> <laughs> on February the 16th. Uh, tickets for the UK tour are on sale now. Paloma, thank you. We love, thank love you, Paloma. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Uh,